Everybody, welcome back to another reaction. I'm just gonna look at the episode play. It's Lights of Bree for episode five of Skip and Loafer. Um, we are slowly but surely catching up. Um, but yeah, let's dive in to see what's happening as I'm currently talking. <laughs> there you go. A little high up on the forearm, but not bad. She's also kind of short though for volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> Best on the world. Well, of course it is. Because they're healthy. Yeah. Oh, I feel that. Ow. 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 Harsh reality. Dang. Ow. I even eat anything with rice or carbs in it. I gain 10 pounds. Yeah, and the worst part is rice, especially basmati, is my favorite. Oh, God, I love rice. <sighs> so I could always I could always mess with a Japanese diet. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, this is going to be her episode. I just realized that. No, just because you don't understand the effort she put in doesn't mean she didn't put in effort. Also, there's no reason for watching what you eat. There's no problem with that. Like, no, if that's yeah. what you do, that's what you do. As long as you're not unhealthy. Yeah, as long as you're doing it for the correct reasons and not for the wrong reasons either, right? You just want to maintain a healthy lifestyle? That's perfect. The pants under the skirts are throwing me off. Their shoes have blue highlights of their third years. That's an interesting, like, thing for differentiating years. Hey, guys. Jesus. Say they're taking up not even a tiny corner. <laughs> oh, she about to say some shit. <laughs> Damn. Well, she, <laughs> the she, red she, face. She is a class representative, though. Oh. Okay, she was bullied as a child. I see this. Or not really bullied, but more. Back. Back. <laughs> no, you're, that was terrible. You didn't even apologize for bumping into a student. So she had some anxieties about confrontations, maybe. Or about things like that. Yeah. Oh. You just made the list. Who dared to get on her bad side? It's like the list of Jericho. Oh, that's sound advice, but at the same time, it's a school. And yeah. she is technically a school representative of her class. Even though they're third year, she still has some sort of... And they're being assholes. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I was like, you can't tell me you didn't feel that bump into somebody. Come on. Yeah. I didn't even apologize. Like... <laughs> Look, that may not be the case, but that could be definitely construed that way. なりに思い返してみて。言い方は聞き方だけど、嘘ついたりはしてないよ。True. <laughs> understand some of his hard work. Oh, 
<laughs> I was having a moment. I'm just here to heckle. <laughs> you know what? At least she's honest. There you go. <laughs> Golden Retriever out of nowhere. I wanted it. I heard. I heard. <laughs> Let's <laughs> try to get away. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Good shit. Prickly and giddy. Oh, that's the perfect title for this. It's so smart. Yeah. I preferred uh, pickled tequila shots for that, but hey. <laughs> Spicy pick up tequila shots. <laughs> of course, you'd be like that. Uh. Oh, my man. Yes. Because they're oh. all looking at you. <laughs> Hope Springs Eternal. Most, probably 90%. I mean, who doesn't love a Golden Retriever? Right. Three points. If they have a Halloween episode, his name or is Yamada. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and our man I, has died. I mean, probably the prettiest girl in the school. They just told him good job. He is so tall. Oh, he's still an angel form. <laughs> Yeah, 100%. You'd be on. I would say we would have had another episode of Yamada here. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, is anyone going to ignore that? <laughs> of course you are. Of course you were. I can't get over the fact that this man looks like a K-pop star every freaking time. He is a drama club member. Remember that theater kid. I need this man in blue block now. <laughs> you know what it is? You know what this man reminds me of? He reminds me of Haru from Fruits Basket without the attitude. I can see that. The hair. <laughs> You've never been popular. It's kind of hard. Well, I'm your theater kid, I guess, but you look like a K-pop star, so. I think he's the type of kid where he's never been popular, but he will find his way into a conversation. He's extroverted, yeah. He's very outgoing. No, he at least sees you as a friend. Because he likes you, at least likes your personality. Well, because he saw how gung-ho and straightforward and everything you were. There you go. I'm sure that hurt, but... 
Yeah, at least it was the right part of the wrist. Oh, nice. Little high Q in there. Right. They won? I don't know which side was which. Second place, they lost. I mean, that's not surprising. I mean, they had a first-year volleyball player, but I think on, their, on the other team. There you go. <laughs> you can, too. Because she does. It's not a mystery, really. I sure I think he's hot, but so do you, you all. Oh, they're they're shipping them already. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. There you go. He's about to fucking score 40. Poor LeBron James on everybody. Right. Maybe it's her attitude on life, which I, I think is part of the case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pickled veggies. I'm telling you, pickled tequila. Amazing. Pickled tequila. A little pickle juice, tequila, get some spice in there. Oh, we're doing that next party. Totally out of your next party. Oh, Jesus. Whenever that may be, but it's happening. <laughs> I mean, I can't drink till September, so. No, just in time for drinking. <laughs> I was going to say Halloween party? Just time for drinking, whatever that may be. Labor Day party. <laughs> yeah, so that was episode five of Skip and Loafer. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think this was probably the perfect time for us to get the episode with the last girl that would kind of was very prickly as the episode, you know, so I yeah. put it uh, to get some of her behind the scenes stuff. And, you know, and I will say this, like I said, in the beginning, of the, in the in the episode, just because you think somebody has had it easy doesn't mean they had it easy. Just because you think no. you, you worked hard doesn't mean somebody else hasn't worked hard either. It's just like walk a mile in your shoes thing, right? Mm -hmm. Someone else's shoes. And this is what she kind of understood there toward the end. And she was only dealing with her own insecurities as a child growing up and stuff like that. So it makes total sense and all that. And I'm glad we'll probably start getting to see more of the real her, which still could be prickly and all that, but more open, more nice about things, more not mm -hmm. adversarially with somebody, not passive aggressive with somebody. So it'd be nice to see that. That's, she was like the last like holdup of characters from the class, I think, unless we have somebody come yeah. out. I mean, the other one that we really haven't got a lot of so far is, is the, two, the two other boys on Shima's team. The blonde kid and the other dude. We haven't mm -hmm. got a lot on them yet. So I expect something with them story-wise later. Except for we know that one kid who looks like Naruto. is <laughs> yeah. very much into girls and all that. So, mm -hmm. uh, But I would like to have more in-depth of his character. would be nice. But I'm assuming we'll be more of Sh Shima and what he's missing out on and what he sees in excuse me, our girl here. And I really do think it's that, that life thing and that, that thing being on life and how she just takes everything like that. Because I know in the end... I think he's going to have some sort of backstory that's kind of sad. Oh, yeah. Because we got the oh, mom yeah. thing with him acting, and I'm like, mm, what happened with that, right? And then was it like, mm -hmm. and you, you just didn't like it anymore? Mm, that's, that's still kind of a flag. Um, and I, I'm just reading this comment. Notice how every single character, even the background characters, have well-thought-out designs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, I mean, I'll say this cow comes home. They're, this is an interesting side cast of characters. Very interesting. And that's what helps make slice yeah. life romance show. Um, yeah, and this was this was our girl's big episode, um, and that's why she had to try her personality. Exactly, that's what I was trying to say. She had to try her personality because she she was overweight as a kid, didn't have natural talent. Mm -hmm. She worked hard and made her tough, but she's not a bad person. She just needs somebody like me to me to point out her strengths. Yep, yeah, totally. Um, yeah, that's a perfect perfect set. Um. I'm not sure how many people notice this, but the rust on the handlebars. I saw that. I just didn't care to point it yeah. out. But yeah, it's a good, it's a good, you know, thing for to be it's real life. A, yeah. Skip over I having a tycoon moment. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did notice 
especially when they were in the classroom, like that person said, all the different designs for every student. It was so cool to see even characters, you know, that are background, background characters that we're probably not really going to see more of or get any more of have these very unique designs and not just, you know, student number 10 with a shaggy, you know, Bob haircut that's also black like every other student in the show. Like, it's really cool to see them, you know, be individual even if you know they're not going to be part of the main cast or even the side cast of the main cast. Yeah. And like this person says, romance animes have been eating dangers in my heart and Sonic's after school. Da- someone said dating level 99 and mod has been wholesome. Um, and Sonic after school is really good, but this slice of life is on another level. The rest is kind of mid. I disagree with you there. I think, I actually think if you're going to ask me now, it's, it, I mean, Skip Lover is up there. Um, it's on is leading more towards romance right now. Um, mm-hmm. like I said, I said this in another reaction. I think I said it in Tomiacs. I'm not putting one over the other right now. I just think they're all equally good and they all have their own things. Um, Danger in My Heart too. Somebody mentioned Blue Orchestra, very slow burn. I don't think they're as strong as these the three heavy hitters as I'm calling them. Mm-hmm. Um and somebody else said it. Uh I mean, I think I said it before Yamada. It, yeah, my, for my me... focus first friend. Yeah, that's another one. Sorry, go ahead. No, you're good. For me, the difference between like Insomniac and Yamada, just to take them because they're bigger hits of the season. For me, Insomniacs is more organic and I feel more of a connection and their connection to each other. Mm-hmm. Yamada, it's not that there's not a connection. Yeah. It kind of follows the more tropey side of love mm-hmm. stories, but there's still that connection. Yeah. And it doesn't get to the point where you're like, okay, come on, we get it. It's a trope, it's a love story, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like you still feel like that connection's growing between them yeah exactly so, like yeah it, it's so good and and i think with and i think with this with skip and loafer i think five episodes in once again we're not caught up yet we're a few episodes mm-hmm. behind i think we've started to see something there a little bit with these two with shima and, and our main girl mm-hmm. what that turns into we don't know yet what that eventually becomes should be romance but it might not be i'm assuming romance but it feels like they're just now starting to realize feelings a little bit, at least, right? We really don't know much of Shima's, like, feelings about her. We know he's at least something about her he likes. Uh, he understands, yeah. and he's he's definitely into her at some sort of, like, what we're seeing. So uh, that's why it's, like, I think a slower burn slash organic burn. I think that's happening really well. And like I said, the yeah. side characters help a lot. This is the best side cast right now. It's Omniac says, I think, the best main characters mm-hmm. right now as as we're watching this. Yamada's got a good solid cast as well um mm-hmm. dangers of my heart's got a good at least a good two characters so like like i said i think once again as of right now episode five of skip and loafer i think skip and loafer dangers of my heart and and then some after school are all the three best stuff right now when it comes to mm-hmm. slice of life romance and stuff like that <sighs> best show i don't know just some good mm-hmm. shows right now gundam and Bitman yeah. saga and and freaking oshinoko there's so many good stuff right now but in the end when it come up with a list I think it's going to end up being those three shows are going to be one fucking Y'all, entry yeah, one and they're all going to they're together. going to go up and down. I said that in another show, another reaction, but I'm like they're just so good. Um and if you like one or the other, I'm not going to be mad at you at that. That's these are all yeah. really good shows. Um and I like these characters and everything. So uh but yeah, let us know what you thought down below. Uh, like comment subscribe all the good stuff. We will soon hopefully be catching up to the weekly weekly runnings of Skip and Loafer. We're just trying schedules and all that, but we'll get there soon. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Peace.